I recently ran into an issue that was related to a Node version manager when working on a Microsoft Teams app using the Visual Studio Code Teams Toolkit extension on Mac OS, and it wasn't an easy one to figure out. This wasn't an easy thing to uncover and resolve as the root cause was quite buried and it ended up being an issue with the Azure Functions core tools and how Visual Studio Code works on Mac OS. But it's not obvious and it takes some time to peel back the onion to get to the root cause. Now, if you're creating Azure Functions using the Azure Functions core tools on Mac OS and you use a Node version manager, this might affect you too. After seeing a few of my students from my Microsoft Teams App Dev Accelerator program also run into this, while I've bugged it with Microsoft, I wanted to share additional context on the issue, how I was able to debug it and ultimately resolve it, because you can benefit from this experience as well. Stick around to see what happened and how I debugged and uncovered what the problem was and how I resolved it, because that's what this video is all about. Hey, I'm Andrew, and if this topic interests you, please hit that like button below the video. It helps me reach more people just like you and grow this channel. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel with the button below the video so you can see when I publish more videos for Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Azure full stack developers. And check out my bi-weekly newsletter where I talk about the same kind of topics and share the most important news in the Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Azure space for full stack developers and is delivered straight to your inbox. Okay, let's start by explaining what happened to kick this process off. The actual issue I ran into wasn't immediately obvious. When I was creating a new project using the Teams Toolkit project template uh, for a tab project using the template React and using the Fluent UI, you, when the Teams Toolkit is going to create a project that actually gives you two projects in one. The primary project is the Teams app project that includes a client-side React app for the user experience. And then the second project is a nested Azure Functions project that is added to the API subfolder within the Teams project to implement server-side calls to Microsoft Graph. Now, I have been running into an issue with two other projects that leverage single sign-on that were giving me fits. And so I decided to create a new project to run it with zero edits to see if something else was going on with the SDK, Microsoft Teams, or one of my development environments. After creating the project, I fired it up with zero changes. And while it seemed to work as the tabs loaded just fine, the tab in the personal app implementation that called the Azure function, it would never work. Now, while I saw some errors in the browser's JavaScript console, they didn't help me pinpoint what the problem was. So the next step was to go into the Visual Studio Code, where I ran the project to inspect the processes that were running. And to do this, I opened up the terminal window that you can find from the view menu. And on the right-hand side, notice there are three processes that are running. The first one is start front end. This is running a local web server to host the React client-side application. The second one is watch backend. Now this task uses the popular NodeMon utility that watches for code file changes in the Azure Functions project that's loaded or located in the API subfolder of our project. If any of the files change, it recompiles and retranspiles the project uh, from TypeScript to JavaScript. The last one is the start backend process. This is the console that's running the Azure Functions core tools. Now I looked at each of these to see if there were any errors that stood out. And sure enough, there it was. The Azure Functions core tools weren't even starting up. It was throwing this error about an incompatible Node version. Now that's strange because I'm certain that I didn't install that version of Node, but that my default Node.js version was Node version 18. I use a Node version manager, specifically NVM, the original, so I quickly opened up a console to check which version I was using. Modern Node.js developers, we frequently use a Node version manager to manage multiple Node environments on their workstations. Now I've written about Node version managers multiple times on my site. So I'm gonna spare you from repeating why I think they're just so great. So instead, check the link that I'm showing you here to go read up more about Node version managers. Well, it's confirmed, I'm running Node.js version 18. So why do the Azure Functions core tools think I've got this different version of Node installed? Well, I checked the system installed version and sure enough, that's the, one, the version of Node that the Azure Functions core tools are picking up. Okay, we're making some progress here. So it seems that the Azure Functions core tools or Visual Studio Code more specifically, isn't respecting my NVM setup. Rather, it's defaulting to the system installed version of Node. Well, apparently VS Code, when launching a new terminal window from its task feature, which is what the Teams Toolkit for VS Code uses, it defaults to using the Bash uh, shell on Mac OS. 
And that's a little strange to me because Apple switched the default shell on Mac OS version 13 from Bash to SSH. And that was released back in October 2022. That's nearly two years since I'm recording this video. So that's a little odd that VS Code is still defaulting to that old version. On my Mac OS environment, I use ZSH, like most if not all Mac OS customers who have a modern computer. My shell configuration is set is set up using the ZSH configuration file ZSHRC in the root of my profile. Now within that file, I've got a few things set up, both the most important parts I want to call out. Now following the install instructions for the node version manager that I'm using, I have a creating a new variable called the nvm underscore dir, which is pointing to the location of where nvm is installed. And then I'm going to go load my nvm zsh script file uh, to uh, into my environment. That nvm zsh script file contains the code that initializes my nvm configuration that sets it to the version of node. And you can see that here by running this nvm.sh script. Okay. This explains why VS Code is picking up the system installed version of Node.js, because that's the default version when I'm not using NVM. And NVM isn't loaded under a bash shell, it's only loaded under a ZSH shell. Let me test this hypothesis out. Let me see if I'm correct here. So I started the Teams Toolkit launch task again, and I saw the same error, but this time I killed the start backend task after I started it up, since that was gonna error out again. Then I clicked this little plus icon at the top to open a new shell, but this time it defaulted to ZSH because I manually opened it up. And then in the shell, I manually started the Azure Functions core tools using the same command the Teams Toolkit uses. Specifically, if you go look at the start backend task that's defined in the task.json file, that runs the npm command, npm run dev colon teamsfx, that's defined in the project's root package.json file. The npm script, dev teamsfx, loads the environment variables into the current process, and then it runs the npm run dev command, which in turn runs the Azure Functions core tools from the command line. This time, the Azure Functions core tools started up as expected. So I figured out what the problem was and I figured out how to get around it. But this is gonna be a pain to do this every single time that I wanna start debugging a new Teams Toolkit project that includes an Azure Functions project within it. So let me see if I can improve this with a more permanent fix. After a little bit of digging, I found this property that you can set in your VS Code user setting to force what the default shell is on your machine. Start by opening up your user settings. You can get that from the code menu, go to settings, and then pick settings again. And then switch to the code view to edit the JSON. Now, I'm gonna add, or update if it's already there, the following two settings. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna define a new profile under Mac OS named ZSH and then I'm gonna set it to be the default profile under Mac OS. Now, when the VS Code Teams Toolkit launches the start backend task, the Azure Functions core tools are gonna to start up under my NVM environment, which is ideally set to a supported version of Node.js. What do you think about this issue with Node, NVM, and VS Code? Let me know by dropping a comment below the video, and let me know if you wanna see more videos about troubleshooting the Teams Toolkit extension for Visual Studio Code. And if you like this video or you found it useful, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me grow this channel by reaching more people just like you. And if you haven't already, please subscribe by smashing that subscribe button below the video so you can see when I publish more videos for full stack developers on Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Azure topics, including Microsoft Teams. And let me know if you wanna see more videos about troubleshooting the Teams Toolkit extension for Visual Studio Code. I'm Andrew Connell. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.